this is it, fellas, all right? Win or go home. Playoff time, okay? No time for slacking off. This is for everything now, okay? Everything we fought for this season. Look, look, look. They're going to be counting us out, all right? Oh, we barely snuck into playoffs. Oh, we had a bad differential. Oh, we may have changed the rules so that we could even make playoffs in the first place. But look, we're t- it's time to silence the haters, all right? We know who we're up against, all right? We know what it takes, and we're going to do it, all right? Let's go out there and do it. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. He trains on three. One, two, three. It's playoff time, baby. So, for those of you following along at home, this is the playoff bracket, okay? We did sneak into the playoffs, but we're down here in the wild card round, okay? So first, we have to fight our way out of the wild card round against Sly Robbie. Then we will make it to the quarterfinals against Trannel, and then the semifinals, and then the championship, all right? But first, we have to fight none other than Sly Robbie. So, me and Sly Robbie, we go way back, all right? We go way back. I like to think of Sly Robbie sort of like my apprentice, okay? Like, you know, Sly Robbie first started playing Pokemon. In, like, season one and two of ETA, he got two kills combined for those two seasons. He used to just be a free win, right but now sly robbie is actually like a formidable opponent okay he's really gotten good he won a championship in season four okay and i think the last two times that we've played he's beat me both times and of course we already fought this season back in week two which i lost all right so i i'm trying to come back with vengeance okay i need to win this game all right i need to put him in his place all right so the massachusetts muse they have Great Tusk, Jirachi, Sylveon. They just just a very good, well-rounded, bulky offense core, almost balanced team. All right, very bulky, pretty versatile uh, Pokemon. You know, Brute Bonnet as well, adding to the bulk and versatility. Good revenge killers with Lycan Rock Dusk and Hisuian Zoroark. Galisopod is a very interesting Terra Captain that brings the strong priority, um, and just some good, some nice low tiers with Rotom Fan, Cryogonal. Um, you know, we already fought once, okay, if you haven't seen that game, go, go back and watch it, um, week two, so, back in week two, I tried to do, uh, a little unconventional sets, I brought a few unconventional sets, right, so I tried to bring Swords Dance Skarmory, uh, to be a wall breaker, to out, to break some of the bulky things on his team, uh, but it really backfired on me because he ended up bringing Defensive Rotom Fan, which was the perfect Pokemon to shut that down. Um, and I also brought like a really defensive Annihilate to shut down Great Tusk, which in theory worked at shutting down Great Tusk, but it also backfired on me because it could not touch Hisuian Zoroark, and he played Hisuian Zoroark very well. Um, once he realized that Annihilate couldn't touch it, he just kept bringing it in, and it weared me down over time, and eventually was the reason that I lost. So we're doing a few things differently this week. All right, we're bringing a similar team. We're actually bringing five out of the six same Pokemon, um, but we're bringing a few different sets. All right. First off, we're just bringing a standard Skarmory this week, um, just m- like max defense. Um, it's really good into stuff like Great Tusk, as well as Lycanroc Dusk and even Brute Bonnet. Um, we've got Brave Bird and Iron Head for attacking moves, so Brave Bird gives me that chip on Great Tusk, that good chip on Brute Bonnet. Iron Head gives me the chip on Lycanroc Dusk and also allows me to hit Sylveon, which is nice. Um, and we also have Spikes, which I think could be very useful into this team, just like these top six Pokemon are all grounded, and like if I get a few spikes up, it could really help me wear down this team. Um, if he loves to switch and stuff, and, and you know if he doesn't bring reliable hazard control either, which we don't know, and, and then of course just Roost to stay healthy with the Rocky Helmet for even more chip. Um, so Skarmory should be pretty good here in this matchup, I think. Next up, we're, we're bringing uh, Vikavolt. Okay, Vikavolt is our Terra Captain. Um, back in week two, we brought Electabuzz, uh, for the only time all season. Um, I wanted to give Electabuzz some time to shine. It did get a kill, uh, but ultimately was just kind of weak. Um, so we're, we're bringing, I think, the superior Terra Captain this week, and that is Vikavolt. Um, Terra Electric, uh, again, just like I did last week in week eight, um, uh, I think Terra Electric is nice. I have no weaknesses, gives me that just extra power. Uh, that I need on that electric move. And once again, Wise Glasses, just for that extra power. Um, Volt Switch, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, and Roost. Max HP with Roost to stay healthy.
healthy. We can take hits um, with this thing. We have max HP, we have Roost, and with the Wise Glasses, we can we can do good damage too. I mean, Volt Switch is a pretty free click. Energy Ball uh, has a chance to Oko Great Tusk after spikes um, because of my Wise Glasses. And we have Bug Buzz also to pop the Brute Bonnet, which we do have some speed to outspeed. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, like Volt Switch is pretty nice for getting me momentum into this team. Hits Gull Isopod. Um, so yeah, I think I think uh, Vikavolt is really going to help me here, especially if he chooses to bring the Rotom Fan like he did last time. Um, so yeah, I think Vikavolt will help me a lot here. We, over here we have Annihilate. Okay, uh, back in week two we brought the defensive Annihilate, which kind of worked. It, I mean, it worked for shutting down Great Tusk. But we could not touch his Syrian Zoroark. So this week we're bringing Assault Vest uh, Annihilate. Assault Vest lets us live uh, one attack, one Shadow Ball from his Syrian Zoroark. And we have the Throat Chop for coverage to pick off the his Syrian Zoroark. Um, it has a chance to kill, um, and it's a guaranteed kill after a spike. Um, so Throat Chop uh, could be nice for picking off the Zoroark. We do, of course, have to identify the Zoroark early game uh, with the Illusion. Um, you know, we might have to do a little play around early game just to make sure that we can figure out who Zoroark is. Um, but once we do that, uh, we have the Throat Chop to hit the Zoroark. Throat Chop could also come in handy uh, against Sylveon. We can actually just Throat Chop into Sylveon and block it from going for Hyper Voice. And as long as it's not offensive and it's packing Psy Shock, which it might for Tentacruel, um, but if it doesn't have like Psy Shock or anything, we could actually just force Sylveon out with Annihilate and Throat Chop. That would be great. Um, it also hits Jirachi as well, but we still have the Rage Fist and we have the Close Combat just for being a good revenge killer and just U-turn uh, for some momentum. So I think uh, Annihilate with the speed here, we have enough speed to outspeed Great Tusk as well, um, could be very handy. Uh, Assault Vest could also help us, of course, It'll take a Psychic from Jirachi, for example. Um, we're bringing double Assault Vest here with the Mamoswine. Uh, Assault Vest, Mamoswine. Assault Vest helps us switch into Sylveon, take hits from Sylveon, and we have the Heavy Slam to uh, deal big damage to the Sylveon. This is actually the exact same Mamoswine set that I brought in week two. Um, I think it's good. I think it worked out well in that game, even though we didn't win. Um, it was good, and so I'm, I want to bring it again. I think it's the best Mammoth Swine for this matchup, um, and yeah, I think Mammoth Swine is going to be pretty good here. Uh, next up, we have Umbreon. Once again, exact same set we brought back in week two. Um, it is my answer to Hisui and Zoroark. As long as we can identify it, we can switch in, take hits. It also helps us against Jirachi. Uh, just try to figure out whatever Jirachi wants to do to us, and we have foul play to deal good damage to it. Um, and yeah, overall, Umbreon is pretty good. So uh, yeah, we have Toxic also, which could be nice for Toxicking either Sylveon or the Root Bonnet or whatever. And last but not least, we are bringing Whimsicott. Uh, we brought Whimsicott last time, but we're bringing a different set this week. Um, I'm trying something new with Whimsicott, and we're bringing uh, sub Leech Seed Protect, um, just like Leech Seed Stall Whimsicott. Um, I think that this could be really annoying for Sly Robbie in this matchup. His only Grass, his only Leech Seed immunity and Prankster immunity is Brute Bonnet, which uh, Whimsicott shuts down Brute Bonnet. So I think you know, he would be forced to switch out um, on Whimsicott and we could just sub up on it. And then versus anything else, we can just Leech Seed and just click Sub Protect in their face. Uh, with Leech Seed Recovery and Leftovers Recovery, we can pretty much stay healthy um, and just keep Leech Seeding and Protecting. This could be great for wearing down Jirachi or even wearing down stuff like Sylveon. Um, and also we have Moonblast as an attacking move, so that could really just, you know, we could pick off a weakened Great Tusk. Uh, we can pick off, we also have enough speed to outspeed uh, Zoroark and Light Lycan Rock, so we can just pick those off if they're weakened. Um, and of course, Moonblast hits Boot Bonnet for super effective damage. Uh, even a Pokemon like Elisapod, we can protect on the first impression and maybe even force it to switch out and sub up on it. So um, I think all of that, um, Whimsicott can be really good here and hopefully is going to be really annoying with the uh, Sub Bleach Seed set. So uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan this week. Um, Similar to what we did in week two, but we're being a little bit more conventional because we need to win. Um, and I feel I feel pretty confident. So let's see, let's go over to the game and uh, see what happens. All right, here we go. We're here. Um, so we see Great Tusk 
Jirachi, Sylveon, Sligu, uh, Hisuian, Zoroark, and Rotom Fan. Okay, interesting. He brought Sligu, which is kind of crazy. Really did not even think about that Pokemon one time. Um, so he, let's see, he didn't bring Lycanroc Dusk, which is awesome. I was actually a little worried about that Mon, um, but I'm glad it's not here. Uh, no Brute Bonnet either. Totally cool. Uh, he did bring Rotom Fan. Interesting. Um, no Golisopod either. So his Terra is definitely going to be Sligu. I have no idea what Sligu is going to do, like, at all. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, and other than that, yeah, mostly, mostly, uh, what I expected other than Sligu. So what do I want to lead with? Um, maybe Vickavolt? Maybe Vickavolt, I'm thinking. Um... Yeah, just get the Terra off. Volt Switch. Um, if it's Tusk, you know, we can Energy Ball it. Vigil Volt's just been, like, a solid lead for me, so I think that's that's gonna be nice. Um, let's just go for it. Let's just go for the Vigil Volt. Yeah, I don't know what Sligoo's gonna do, man. It's, I mean, it's definitely Eviolite, right? Does it get, like, Iron Defense Body Press? <laughs> can I beat that? I don't know. Really, I mean, it really depends what its Terra is going to be. I don't think I have a knockoff. There's no knockoff on this team, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, Sligu is like some rest sleep talk shenanigans. I think that would be annoying. But if it's just like Eviolite 4 attacks or something, I'm not really worried about it because it doesn't really do damage. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, no Lycanroc Dusk is cool. I'm glad to see no group on it. I think Whimsicott looks really good here, too. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is definitely uh, the lead matchup that I wanted off the bat here. Just Rotom Fan into like, well, we'll get the Terra Electric off. Um, he can't hit me with anything. You know, if he Volt Switches, totally fine. We can get momentum here with Volt Switch, I think. Um, and yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, what, it goes for Toxic, but I'm not too worried about that. So I think, yeah, let's just go for a Volt Switch here. If he, if he Volt Switches into Great Tusk, fine. I will just follow it up with an Energy Ball. Um, I think that's fine because we can just live uh, any attack from this, so yeah, I'm not too worried. Let's see here. Let's see here. What's he gonna do? I mean, this could be Zoroark also. I do have to always consider that this could be Zoroark, um, but again, I live any hit from with Vic Volt, um, so yeah, I mean, if it's Zoroark, we'll find out right now, um, but let's see, let's see what this uh, Rotom fan wants to do here. He did bring Sylveon too, I don't think he brought Sylveon last game. I don't think he brought Sylveon last game, but Sylveon is here this time. Uh, Sylveon's definitely um, good. Okay, Air Slash, totally fine. Ugh, flinch. We're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. I mean, I'm just gonna go for it again. Whatever. Turn one, Air Slash, flinch. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna go for it again. At least we get our Terra Electric off. Uh, now he knows we're Terra Electric, but it's fine. So, let's see what, uh, what it's gonna be here. I, I, I could easily just have gotten the Volt Switch into uh, probably Mamoswine, and then just followed it up with an Icicle Crash, I think would have been, would have been my play. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I know that uh, this is not Zoroark, at least. He just goes for it again. Interesting. Um, this should do good damage. Yeah, that's that's pretty good damage, I would say. I would say that's pretty good damage. Um, if this thing is like Scarf or Specs, even, um, Mamoswine can take it because it's AV. And uh, if it's not like super offensive, then we should be faster. Um, and I can just Ice Skull Crash. So let's just go Mamoswine here. 
think Crash is the play. I don't really need to Ice Shard. I don't even know if Ice Shard kills. Judging by that damage, I think this thing's pretty offensive. Because, like, Ult Switch did, what, 61? So, I feel like that's kind of an offensive set. Um, we can bring in, like, a Volt Later and Roost Up. Um, I think that's, that's fine. So, let's just go for the Crash here. If he goes Jirachi, then that's fine. We'll see the chip. See if it has leftovers. Um, maybe even go for a Earthquake, but we'll see. I mean, Jirachi's probably could easily be faster than us, so I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, but, uh, I mean, maybe he goes Sylveon and I can follow up with a Heavy Slam. That'd be cool. I'll also take the damage on Tusk. Ooh, I'll take this damage on Tusk. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that damage on Tusk. Um, yeah, I mean, it can definitely just be faster than me and close combat, so I don't want to stay in. Um, I did 66, so yeah, Ice Shard's not going to kill. Ice Shard would be doing like 30. Um, I think we just go Skarm here. I think we just go Skarm, maybe get some more Rocky Helmet chip. This thing is leftovers too, so... Um, but yeah, I have to, I have to play it safe here, I think. Assume this Great Tusk could be faster than me. I don't want to stay in and die to close combat. Mammoth Swine is very valuable, so I'm gonna go Skarmory. You know, definitely play this safe here. Don't want to lose Mammoth Swine for no reason. Um, Great Tusk can easily be faster. Uh, we can just go Skarm, get some Rocky Helmet Chip on a close combat or a Body Press even. Uh, I don't actually have any hazard control. If he goes for rocks, it's up. Whatever. You know. I can set up spikes, though. Spikes spikes look pretty good. Spikes look pretty good. I mean, Rotom could have defogged. This thing could have rapid spin, but they're both weakened already. So, I mean, if we start weakening those hazard control mods, potential hazard control mods, um, you know, spike stacking could be the play here. Oh, he makes a nice Rotom play. Okay, yeah. Nice Rotom play. Um, yeah. Um, I can go Vikavolt here and Roost. I don't know if you guys can hear, there's like screaming children outside of my, uh, window right now. I think there was like a children's birthday party, like, outside my apartment complex earlier, so like, all my neighbors in my apartment complex have like kids, and they've just been like screaming all afternoon, and it's like 8pm right now, it's like dark, and they're still out there screaming. They're having, they're having a great time. They're loving it. I'm just up here doing my Pokemon showdown. They had like a whole bouncy house too. It was, it looked like an awesome birthday party, to be honest. I was kind of jealous. Um, so we do see the Volt Switch from the Rotom fan. Um, we take it. I mean, we're at half now, so I don't know if we can still get the uh, Roost off. Let's see what he goes into here. We might see Zoroark now. Could definitely be Zoroark. Um, you know. So let's 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 just gauge. Let's see what he goes into. Um, yeah, now nah, that was a good uh, that was a good double switch into Rotom Fan. I mean, I could have just Icicle crashed again with Mammoth Swine and taken out Rotom Fan. That would have been crazy. But like, he definitely made the right call there, predicting me to go Skarmory. Um, so that was a good aggressive switch for him to make, get a little momentum back in his favor. So now we're a little bit on the back foot now. I feel like we might see Zoroark here. I feel like Zoroark might come out alternatively. I mean, he could, we could see Sylveon, but like, I don't know. If we see Sylveon or Jirachi, or uh, I'm just going to assume that it could be Zoroark and probably go Umbreon. If we see Sylveon, it's tough because like, I, it could be Zoroark. I don't want to go Umbreon though because like, if it is Sylveon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I might just go Mamoswine in that case because we're AV and we can take a we can take a hit. So, um, yeah, I could even stay in in that case, actually, and just get a Volt Switch. Um, but Vikavolt might die to a offensive Zoroark, like, if it's, like, Life Orb or Shadow or Specs or something. Um, I don't know. I think last time he just brought, like, I actually don't remember. It, it might have just been, like, Heavy Duty Boots or something. Like, it was, it was just, like, a, it wasn't a choice set. He didn't bring a choice set last time. And it wasn't, like, Life Orb, so I don't know what it was, actually, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it could be like nasty plot too. Um, Zoroark is a threat. Zoroark is a serious threat. So we definitely need to tread carefully right now. 
Um, Sly Robbie loves to take his time, though, making these switches. I feel like every Sly Robbie battle I record is like 50 plus minutes, you know? Typical hour game smooth brain content. But, um, no, we love Sly Robbie over here. We are Sly Robbie supporters over here at Radioactive Mayo. Um, yeah. I don't know. We're in a good position here, though. Yeah, that's 100% Zoroark. That is 100% Zoroark because Great Tusk took damage. Okay, so this is Zoroark. I know for a fact this is Zoroark. So that's good. That's really good for me um, because now I know that Zoroark is disguised as Great Tusk, um, and Great Tusk already took damage. So we can just go Umbreon here. If he U turns, you know, fine. He could definitely just U turn here, but um, I'm gonna make the Umbreon play. I'm gonna go Umbreon here. Um, yeah, if he U-turns, he could U-turn Sylveon. That could be annoying, but um, I'm still just going to make the Umbreon play. Um, and then maybe just go for Toxic, potentially. Um, could be nice. I'd love to Toxic Sylveon. I think a Toxic on Sylveon could go a long way. Um, that would be really good. So, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Depend all depends, though, what we see here from Zoroark. You know, it, we could see, like, a sub or, like, a nasty plot, potentially, even. So, in that case, I might just foul play. Um, or just a U-turn. Could just see a U-turn as well. But if he just Shadow Balls and we take nothing, then I'll probably just go for Toxic. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. That does nothing. That's definitely not even- that's not Specs. That's not Specs. That might be Scarf. Could be Scarf. Um, I could maybe Wish Pass into Vikavolt, but I think Toxic is my play here. Yeah, let's get a Toxic on this. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is good. A Toxic on Sylveon is very helpful for me. Um, I don't know what the Sylveon set is going to be. It could be like offensive. It could just be wish support as well. So, um, yeah, it definitely could just be like a wish support. I think I go Mamoswine here because like I'm AV, so I can take a Hyper Voice. Um, and if he goes for wish, I can just go for Icicle Crash and then he cannot heal up Great Tusk or Rotom Fan in that case um, if he goes for wish. So... Yeah, and we, and we definitely put pressure on him with the uh, Heavy Slam, too. So let's go Mamoswine here. Let's make the Mamoswine play. Um, I think Mamoswine is good here. Yeah, Ice, uh, Ice Cold Crash is great, too. Especially, like, before Sligu gets the Terra off. Um, ooh, Calm Mind. Yeah, no. This is definitely... It's not Leftovers, either. This thing is, like, offensive. That's scary. Um, I heavy slam here, 100%. I don't mess around with this. I don't mess around with this Sylveon at all. I just click heavy slam. If he switches, um, it's fine, but I want to force this out because once it starts clicking Calm Mind, it's a threat. Um, and it can definitely 2 a KO us with Hyper Voice now after uh, a Calm Mind. Uh, we should always be faster here unless this thing is quite literally max speed. Um... But I don't think that's the case. That seems unlikely. So we should always be faster here and go for the heavy slam. This should do a lot. I don't know if this is going to be a kill. Um, this thing might be like have uh, some physical defense. Or this thing is just like straight offensive. Um, if this thing is just like straight offensive, heavy slam might kill. Um, but yeah, no, Mamoswine is actually looking really good in this matchup. Like really good um right now like we're kind of cooking right now with Mamoswine. we're kind of cooking right now uh combine sylveon is a threat for sure like it's good to know that this thing is combined now because like it probably has psy shock too it probably has ooh ooh on the sligu he goes sligu maybe just as a sack um i think i just follow this up with like uh do I heavy slam again? I think I heavy slam again because I kind of want to uh, keep up the illusion that I'm choice scarf or potentially choiced. That's always something you have to think about. 
because right now he is like I am potentially choice locked in his brain so I think anything I go for here kills Ligu like even if it terras into a resist because uh, yeah heavy slam is still 120 base power so I'm just gonna heavy slam again I'm just gonna heavy slam again um, and if it's Rotom fan uh, oh no it's great tusk here I think ice shard kill Ooh, not leftovers <sighs> darn it maybe I should have uh well, it's okay. I think I can go Skarm here. Um, no, this is still really good. We're still in a really good position here. We got huge chip on Sligu too, and it didn't even Terra. So that's awesome. Um, Mamoswine is like so valuable right now. I cannot risk it. I think like m maybe Ice Shard is a roll, but like I just cannot risk Mamoswine right now. It's way too valuable. So I'm just gonna go Skarm. Like if he makes the Rotom play again, Fine, we'll rinse and repeat. You know, we'll go, we'll go Vicavolt. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll do all the same switches. Um, we're in a good position right now, so I'm not going to risk anything. You know, like Rotom Fan has Chip, uh, Great Tusk has huge Chip, Sligu has huge Chip. Like Sylveon's toxic, and we know it's calm mind too, so that's all really good. Uh, Temper Flare on the Scarm, ooh, spicy, very spicy. Um. Yeah, the Rocky Helmet Chip keeps it low. I think that actually puts it guaranteed into Ice Shard range now, which is great. Um, I'm going to throw up a Spike here, I think. Because he's probably just going to go Rotom, uh, Rotom Fan, right? Um, he's probably just going to go Rotom Fan, but I can just Spike up. Spike is going to be nice, I think. I think Spike is going to be nice. <clears throat> yeah. At this point, the way it's looking, I think we just have to be careful around Jirachi and Zoroark mostly. So Umbreon is pretty valuable too right now because Jirachi and Zoroark are both like at full health in the back. So like he's going to have to try to win with one of those, I think. But um, so Umbreon's going to be really important here. So yeah, just the Rotom play makes sense. We could see a Defog here, but I don't know if it has it. It might not have it. I'm just going to make the Vicavolt play again, dude. If he Volt switches uh, back into whatever, I will just rinse. Like I said, I will just rinse and repeat and make the same plays as before. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to play it safe here. We're in no position to play risky. We're, we're in a good spot right now. Um, Great Tusk is weak. It's going to come in and take 12%. It's basically dead. It's almost dead. And that might just be the Rapid Spinner, too. Like, if this, unless this thing has Defog. You know, if we don't see Defog here, um, it's going to be nice. And I think Skarm can just keep coming in and laying up spikes. Dude. Because if we get two spikes up, or no, Sligu's at 26. We would need three spikes up to kill Sligu. But, like, still, I mean, Sligu's going to take 12%. It's basically a sack at this point. So. Um, we are in good shape right now. We are in definitely good shape. Um, like I said, yeah, Jirachi is like my main concern right now, honestly, because like, oh, we just see Will-O-Wisp. Interesting. Kind of want to roost up here. Kind of just want to roost up. I think I'm going to do that. Um, we do see Will-O-Wisp, no defog. So this thing might not have defog. Um, I'll just roost up here because like, once I'm back to like 90%, like I can take any hit from even Zoroark. Um, and we're in business. Like, Vicavolt is really good. So, yeah. I'll just do that. You know? Why not? Um, yeah. Vicavolt is good. So we see Great Tusk here. Takes 12. Um,. Leftovers, yeah. He could rapid spin. I think I go Skarm. Give him the Rocky Helmet chip. I don't want to take a close combat in Vicavolt now. I just got all my health back. Um, he's probably rapid spin. You know, um, assuming he has it. So, but like, I'll give him the Rocky Helmet chip. I can just lay them right back up. I mean, Skarmory's job in this matchup is to deal with Great Tusk. So, like, I'll send it out every time. He didn't bring Lycanroc Dusk or Brute Bonnet. Those were the two other things that Skarmory was there for. And so, like, if Skarmory deals with Tusk, like, it's basically done its job. I mean, everything else matches up pretty decently to Skarm. Um, I mean, we can Iron Head Sylveon, which is nice. Um, 
you know, we know it's Calm Mind. The question is, like, is Sylveon Wish? The great news is it's toxic, though, which is awesome for us. So, yeah, we're in, we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. I'm gonna go Skarm. Like, you know, if he makes the Rotom double, fine. Like, I don't care. I'll rinse and repeat. I'll go right back into, like, a Volt. You know, we just got all our health back. We just got a free Roost. Um, you know, the burn doesn't really bother me. It's fine. Like, it gives me a little bit of chip, but whatever. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, yeah, we're in, we're in, a, we're in good shape here. So, um, this is good. This is good. Um, and we can save Annihilate too. Like, Annihilate can probably deal with Jirachi late game because we're AV. Like, it all depends what Jirachi is though. Like, if Jirachi is, like, physical... It could be annoying, definitely, like, um, you know, if it has, like, a Zen Headbutt or Hard Stamp, like, it would it would be able to deal with Annihilate, because Jirachi is naturally faster than Annihilate. We are almost max speed on Annihilate, but Jirachi would be faster if it's also max speed. Um, obviously, like, it could just be bulky Jirachi, and Annihilate could um, just outspeed it, which would be great for us if that's the case. Um, and plus, you know, Annihilate is still at full health, so it can lift one Shadow Ball from Zuvian's Aura Arc. That Shadow Ball on Umbreon did like 10%, it did like nothing, so Zoroark is not like Specs or Life Orb or anything crazy, so we can definitely um, take a Shadow Ball on Annihilate and, and hit Zoroark too, so Annihilate is definitely good for the late game right now, I think Annihilate can really help us secure that late game. Um, I don't know if Whimsicott, I'm gonna get an opportunity with Whimsicott, but um, Whimsicott still could be good, like I could still use Sil uh, Whimsicott against like Sylveon or Jiraji. Um, but like honestly what we're doing right now with Evicavolt, Skarm, and Mamoswine is great. Like like we just have to get Mamoswine in for free and like just keep doing what we're doing, dude. Um, okay, so he makes the Sylveon play here. Um, that's fine. I I could Iron Head. He could like the question is here, does he um does he like have mystical fire or something right i could also just throw up another spike and uh then great tusk is dead that's an option i kind of like that honestly um like what's worst case scenario is like if sylveon has rest if it's like resto chesto that would be annoying but like even in that case like mamoswine should outspeed it and hit it with heavy slam and that should be a 2 ko so as long as this thing doesn't get like two or three calm mines off like i think we're fine um i'm gonna make the spike play here i think the spike play is nice we're, sh we're faster than sylveon here right so we get it off and then tusk is dead Scar once tusk is dead skarmory has done its job Okay, so if we get the spike up here, Tusk is dead. I mean, like, there uh, technically there is a chance Rotom still has Defog, but it didn't go for it last time, so it makes me think it doesn't have it. Um, I don't know what its last move it, but is it might be Pain Split. It definitely could be Pain Split. Um, but um, I don't know. This spike play might be greedy, but I think this spike is gonna be is nice. I think the spike is the play here. Like, it just guarantees the kill on Tusk. Tusk can't come in anymore. Um, oh, it is rest. Ooh, it's resto chesto. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I called it. Um, so it has calm mind rest, probably two attacks, I would assume. Um, how do I want to handle this? I can go mammoth swine and heavy slam. I can just, I can just go mammoth swine and heavy slam. Um, I mean, I could Iron Head also. I could sit here and Iron Head, because, like, like I said, Skarm has kind of done its job. Skarm has kind of done its job. It's Tusk is dead, assuming these spikes stay up. And, like, if I just sit here and Iron Head, it should do good damage to the Sylveon. It should do good damage. I mean, even if he's, like, max defense, um, it'll do at least, like, 25. You know, we got a Flitch chance. You know, I mean... Even if, you know, he combines up twice and rests up, like, this thing's not sleep talk, right? Ooh, okay, that does, yeah, Mystical Fire. I kind of figured we, he would have, like, Mystical Fire. That did what? 41? Nice. Uh, I think we just go for it again here. I think we just Iron Head again. Um, every time. I think we just Iron Head again every time here. 
There's the flinch, baby. Let's go. There's the flinch. That's huge. Huge, huge flinch right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you got the turn one air slash flinch, bro. What do you what do you want from me? What do you want from me? This is just this is just flinch for flinch. Alright. Um That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, I can almost even roost off that mystical fire. It only did 57. So, I wonder how much defense investment the Sylveon has. Like, that Iron Head does good damage. That Iron Head does good damage. I don't know if he went for rest that turn. But, like, it doesn't matter if he goes for rest that turn. Because then I just Iron Head. I can just keep going for Iron Head. Like, I, this thing is not Sleep Talk. It, does, it has mystical fire and presumably hyper voice. Um, so, yeah. I just, I just uh, Iron Head here, and the, the best part is too, if he wants to switch, Sylveon is dead to Spikes. So we, we are cooking. Skarmory is cooking right now. Yes, yes, everything's dead to Spikes. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Does Rotom have Defog? Are you going to Defog? That is the question. I will go Vikavolt here every time. If you paint split, fine. You know, it's just like, do you have Defog? Because right now, two things are dead. Oh, he does. He does have debuff. All right. That's fine. Like, you know what? Fine. Totally fine. Um, Everything is weak, though. Like, everything is weak. 16, 18, 26. We just got to get Mammoth Wine in and, and start claiming kills. Um, I'll Volt Switch here. He's going to Volt Switch first. If he goes Tusk, I will just stay in and, uh, and, uh, and kill it. I don't care. He goes Sligu. Okay, fair enough. This might not even kill. Nah, Sligu's, Sligu's a beast. Um, kind of want to go Annihilate low key. Kind of want to go Annihilate low key. I can just U-turn if I go Annihilate. Um, I can just go U-turn. I can just U-turn if I go Annihilate. That's, uh, I think that's my play, honestly. I think that's just my play. Is, uh, just go U-turn here. Just U-turn. Yeah. Um, because he's just sacking here, and then I can just go Mammoth Wine, and then I can sit in. I, I mean, I could have just gone Mammoth Wine hard. It didn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah. I mean, I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna U-turn here, and then probably bring out Mammoth Wine. I think, cause like, Mammoth Wine just matches up good into everything right now. Like, aside from Jirachi, we just have to be careful with Jirachi. That's really all this boils down to. That's really all this boils down to is we have to be careful with Jirachi. And like I said, Umbreon is key here and Annihilate is key here for the late game. And like with those two, I think we can beat both Jirachi and Zoroark. And like, we just got to keep positioning Mamoswine well. Mamoswine is in the position now where it can just get kills. Um, everything's in Ice Shard range. Mam uh, Great Tusk is in Ice Shard range. Uh, I think Rotom Fan is probably an Ice Shard range. I mean, did did we Icicle Crash it turn one? I don't know. No, no, we Volt Switched on it. We Volt Switched on it. I feel like it's an Ice Shard range, though, honestly. Maybe that's risky because it has a Will O Wisp. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, nah, Mammoth Swine is nice here. We still have Sc uh, we still have Skarm as a sack, too. We can sack Skarm um, for the Rocky Helmet if we need to. Um,. So, yeah, dude, I'm just gonna go... I don't know, I, I could alternatively go Whimsicott. Whimsicott could be cool. Um, Whimsicott could be nice. Uh, but, like, Rotom Fan is annoying, so I'm gonna hold off on Whimsicott. I'm just gonna go Mammoth Wine, bro. I'm just gonna go Mammoth Wine. Um, like, Mammoth Wine does what it does, dude. I don't think Whimsicott's gonna do anything this game, unfortunately. Um... You know, we have it for the Moonblast, but like, you know, it doesn't really help us much against Jirachi. Maybe we can check Zoroark with it, but I, Zoroark could be Scarf. Um, I feel like that is a, a good, a likely scenario here. So, this thing's in Ice Shard range. Uh, let me just confirm. The Ice Skull Crash before, I think it did, what, like 40 something? Or no, Ice, Ice Skull Crash did 66 last time. So,. Ice Shard is a little bit less than half than Ice Skull Crash, so it should do like 30, 25 to 30. This should kill. So I'm just gonna go for Ice Shard here. It's not Yachi Berry, it's Leftovers. Um, Ice Shard is always the play here. It should always kill. 
I'm judging by my mental math. 66, 30, I mean, it's at 18, so we should be, we, this should definitely kill here. Um, yeah. Ice Shard is the play. Uh, let Mamoswine just start cleaning up, dude. Let Mamoswine just start cleaning up. We're cooking right now. Mamoswine is cooking. I think Skarmory is like the unsung MVP of this game, though, low key. I don't know. Nah, it's probably Mamoswine. Mamoswine is actually doing all the damage. Mamoswine has been doing like all the damage. Like, Mamoswine did nearly all the damage to Slagoo. Um. I mean, Vickavolt did the damage to Vardom Fan, but, uh... Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, we got a crit there, but, like, if the crit... If it didn't kill without the crit, I would've just gone for it again. So, I don't think that crit matters. I, I would've just gone for it again. Had it survived. If it wasn't a crit, so... Um, totally fine. Totally fine there. Um... Sylveon's dead... Great Tusk is dead. Do we finally see Jirachi here? Are we finally gonna see Jirachi? Or are we gonna see Zoroark? We could see Zoroark now. Um, I could honestly just stay in if he goes Zoroark and, cause I'm AV. Um, like, I can probably take a Focus Blast, maybe. I don't know if I could take a Focus Blast, but uh, probably, right? I'm AV, bro, I'm AV. I feel like this thing is like Scar. I, it's not specs. This is Zoroark. Um, is this a throw if I stay in and die to a Focus Blast? <laughs> I could go Umbreon. Could also just Sack Skarm, alternatively. Could even go Whimsicott. Nah, that's... I don't really need to make that play. I do... I do kind of just want to switch, just like, on the off chance, but like... Uh, what if he does something crazy like Nasty Plot or Sub? Is that bad for me? It's kind of bad for me. I think I live anything here, dude. I think I'm fine to just Earthquake. I think I'm fine to just Earthquake, bro. Yeah, Nasty Plot. He had to do something, dude. Oh, it's Sash. Yeah, it's Focus Sash. He had to do something there. And like, honestly, like I'm, I'm AV, so I live a Focus Blast if he has it. If, if he goes for it, um, I think. I don't know. I'm assuming. Um, I'll run the calc after. But, um, yeah, Ice Shard, Ice Shard picks off here. Dude, Mamoswine goes crazy. Yeah, I mean, I could have I could have gone... I could have, like, tried to do the Skarmory sack there, but he made a nice play going for the Nasty Plot. Um, that was his that was his chance to crawl back here. And, like, Nasty Plot would have been bad, too. But I could have just gone Umbreon and Foul Played. But he was, of course, Sash. Um... Uh, so against Umbreon, what do I want to do? What do I want to do against Umbreon? I don't know. Or, I mean, Jirachi. Do I just stay in an Earthquake? I think I do. I think I just stay in an Earthquake. Like, Mamoswine is going crazy. If this thing's faster than me, and Iron Heads me, flinches me, it's fine, bro. I don't know. I'll go for one Earthquake here. Yeah, we're faster. Let's go. Huge Mamoswine game, baby. Mamoswine is going off, dude. Mamoswine goes off, dude. Uh, if I didn't give Annihilate that one kill, uh, dude, Mamoswine would have gotten like all six kills. Uh, that's that's a, that's unfortunate, honestly. I should have just let Mamoswine get all six kills. Dude, Mamoswine goes crazy. Is this going to be a 6-0? I think this is going to be a 6-0. Dude, we're cooking. Honestly, GG to Sly Robbie. I don't know what he was cooking with that silly goo. Um, but... I mean, the, na the Focus Sash's Ororark was nice with the Nasty Plot. Um, Sylveon set was cool, but, like, we had the Heavy Slam tech on Mamoswine. Like, I was thinking about that. Um, like, I feel like, I, like I said, I was pretty confident with my prep going into this game. I didn't try any funny business with, like, Sword Stance Scarm or anything like that anymore. Like, I just wanted to win. So I feel like, you know, I felt pretty confident going in. Um, the one thing I was worried about was, like, if he brought, like, like and Rock Dusk offensive could have been bad. Um, but like I said, yeah, I don't know what he was cooking with Sligu, so it is what it is. But, um, this is going to be GG. I think we're moving on to, uh, quarterfinals now. Or, uh, yeah, quarterfinals. Um, Mamoswine picking them off, dude. Mamoswine picking them off. GG to Sly Robbie. Uh, we are moving on to playoffs. Huge 6-0 win, baby. 
huge 6-0 win. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I got nothing else to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next round. We will fight Trinal. Be there, be square. Peace. Huge win right there. Huge win. We're getting some early playoff momentum, all right? Poison up to make a heavy playoff run, okay? You know we're facing Trinal next, all right? Actually, if you look next to me, a little bit off camera, I have a dartboard with Trinal's face on it. And all week, I'm just going to be tossing darts at it. That's it. All week. Nothing but tossing darts.